Welcome to the BU Full Out Unity Consciousness event of the century. Video number one. My name is Danielle Rama Hoffman of DivineTransmissions.com and I want to thank you for saying yes to accessing more of who it is that you are and taking this powerful step together in you being anchored as you into unity consciousness. And because this is a Be You Full Out event, I would invite you to really show up and participate 100%. To make a choice right now, as we're just getting started, to get absolutely everything that you could possibly get out of this multidimensional, energetically encoded series of divine transmissions. Because the possibilities are infinite. And it is a free will universe, and so it is up to you to choose to access that which you are choosing to access. And in a moment, I am going to invite in uh, my dear friend and partner in Divine Transmissions, Thoth Toth, the Egyptian god of infinite knowledge, keeper of the Akashic Records, as well as the Council of Light, who are a group of intergalactic light beings from across the multiverse, whose purpose is to enhance the vibration of joy, and enhancing the vibration of joy really is a portal into greater health, greater wealth, greater happiness, because when you're in a state of joy, you're in union with you. You're in union with your signature energy. As well as those 100% pure love and light helpers that are pertinent to this transmission. And so there will be this band of consciousness that I will be tapping into to really transmit the most potent and powerful video that is possible to support you in being you full out. And the purpose of this first video is to reactivate your access to your capacity to choose to be you full out anchored in unity consciousness. Because without your capacity to choose it, then there's no way to be it. And that your capacity to choose may be under a bunch of stuff that we'll also get to in video two related to being plugged into tribal consciousness or repetitive patterns. And yet, choice is step one. So well, let's get to it. So I'll just tune in uh, for a moment and connect into this divine council and as I'm doing that, I would invite you to really connect into you, to connect into your body, your mind, your heart, your emotions, your spirit, your soul, your multidimensionality, your signature energy, that which makes you uniquely you. You can concentrate on your breath, you can concentrate on your fingerprints, you can concentrate on your eye color, you can concentrate on that which you most associate with you and let's uh, yeah let's uh, get started so just tuning into who it is that you are as I'm tuning into <clears throat> this divine council And to open the way for this transition, there is some light language that's coming through. And sometimes the light language comes through to really help this experience to be one that goes beyond the, the intellect. That the light language is a series of tones and sounds that has a lot of energy embedded into it. So that really seems to be what's coming in first. Shania, Hania, Koya, Shiwa, Tia, Koyania, Hania, Koya, Shi, Tania, Hania, Koya, Shiwa, Koya, Shi, Tania, 
Hanya Koya Shiva Koya Shi. We are entering into this moment together. Chia Koya Shi Tunia Hanya Koshi. From divinity to divinity. Hanya Koya Shiva Koya Shi. And we are on a mission to support you in being you full out. Shinya Hanya Koya. Tia Koyoshi Tunia Hanyo Koshi. And this mission is a bit like a treasure hunt. Tunia Hanya Koya Shiwa Tinia Hanya Koya Shi. And we are just translating the light language in English after the light language comes in. Tunia Hanya Koya Shiwa Tia Kia Shiwa Hia Shi. And on this treasure hunt of you being you full out, you are actually the key that opens this transmission, that opens this transmission that supports you in remembering that all you can be is you full out. Shinya Hanya Koyoshi, Tanya Hanyoko Shiwa Koyoshi. And so before we can go any further, what is required is that you are Shiwa Koyoshi to Nia Hanya Koyoshi, taking a stand for you. Shinya Hanya Koshiwa Koyoshi. You're taking a stand for you. Chinya Hanya Koshiwa Hanya Koshi, Tanya Hanya Koshiwa Koyoshi. And so you may choose to actually stand in your physical body. Stand up. Shiwa Koyoshi to Nia Hanya Koshi. And have that standing up. Represent taking a stand for you. Shinya Hanioko Shiwa Koyoshi Tunia Hanioko Shi. And then as you're standing up and you're feeling your feet on the ground, Koyoko Shinya Hanioko Shiwa Koyoshi, call upon your unique essence. Koyoshi Nia Hanioko Shi Tunia Hanioko Shi. Take a stand for your signature energy. Knowing that you are broadcasting and transmitting in this moment. And in any amount, augment the increments of you that you're being and that you're broadcasting. Ask the part of you that knows how to do this. You may imagine that it's like turning up a dimmer switch in which your light was dim and that you're brightening your light. You may be very much connected to your signature energy, having a sense of a color or a vibration or a word that you relate to your unique essence, your signature energy, that which makes you uniquely you. Or you may just be pissed and ready for something to change in your life. It doesn't matter what the energy is that is creating the desire for you to take a stand. It is only that you are augmenting the energy of you taking a stand at this time. Imagine that this step is necessary to unlock the be you full out event for you. Because it is for you. In response to your asking, in response to your calling. In response to that which you have left for yourself to find at this time. And yet, in order to access it. Your energy imprint is the key that opens it. So just take a few more moments augmenting your energy if you want to jump up and down or just say I choose to broadcast my signature energy, my energy thumbprint more fully at this time. 
Vehakunia Hania Koshiwa Koyashi, Tinia Hania Koshi, Tinia Hania Koshiwa Koyashi, Koyashi. And as we are watching your system, as we are with you, we are also noticing how much of you is actually on board for this and how much of you is really mired down in tribal consciousness that we'll get to in video two. Tinia Hani Okoshi wa Koyoshi, Tinia Hani Okoshi, Tinia Hani Akoyokuya Koshi, Koyoshi. Choice is one of the highest revenues on the planet at this time. It doesn't matter how long you've been hiding out, how long you've been playing small, how long you've been in a push-pull with what it is that you're here to express. Because in this moment, this choice to broadcast your energy print, your signature energy, can open up all that there is instantaneously. Great. Good. So the key is in, and now you can just go within. Are you choosing to open this capsule of consciousness that you've left for yourself and go on this wild adventure of life, this treasure hunt in which you are the treasure you're hunting? And if so, just sense, see, feel, or imagine, or know that you are unlocking this lock, this capsule of consciousness. Tinia Hanyo Koshiwa Koyashi, Tinia Hanya Koyashi, Koyanya Hanyo Koshiwa Nyo Koshi. Welcoming yourself into greater dimensions of you. This journey that we are embarking upon is just that. One in which you can imagine that you are a beautiful castle and that you've had rooms of this castle that have been locked, that have been out of bounds, that have been unoccupied, and that as we're together in this way, you're accessing more and more of your castle, of your space, occupying more and more of you. Tinia Hania Koshi wa Koyashi, Tinia Hania Koshi, Tinia Hania Koyashi, Tinia Hania Koshi, Tinia Hania Koshi, Tinia Koshi, Tinia Koshi, Tinia Hania Koshi, Tinia Hania Koshi, Tinia Koshi, Tinia Hania Tinia Hania Koshi, Tinia Hania Koshi, Tinia Hania Koshi, Tinia Koshi, 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 Tinia Hania Koshi, Tiwa Koshi, 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 Tinia Hania Koshi. And part of your entrance into these aspects of the castle of you that you haven't been connecting to is your old ways of being. That that is part of what you're anteing up. And so now this is a stream of consciousness that's coming through from infinite oneness, from Lord Melchizedek, from Archangel Michael, from the Council of Light, from the Emerald Ray, from Toth, from the Golden Stargate, from there are many, many, many beings of light that are present for this transmission. And we want to share with you that this process of accessing your choice to be you full out anchored in unity consciousness is one in which we will be spiraling in and out of different areas. And yet, what it is that is your offering, what it is that you bring to the table, is what we're calling this anteing up of your old ways of being. That there is this sloughing off of the coping mechanisms that you had that weren't really uniquely you or yours. There is this letting go and unplugging from the tribal consciousness and from the familiarity of the patterns that you've had 
in the ways that you've kept yourself separate from you. And so we want to be upfront about that so that you can understand also that as we're saying this is your offering, the old way of being, this is what you ante up, that there is important importance to everything that you've experienced up until this moment in your life. That every time that you've separated from you, every time that you've held back, every time that you've stayed in confusion, every time that you've played small, every time that you've given a crap more what others thought of you than really being on track with who it is that you are and what it is that you're here to express, that that's all had purpose and value. Separation consciousness, being in a state of lack, being separate, uh, being in duality has had purpose. And that is all rocket fuel to being in unity consciousness, to being in the state of consciousness in which your awareness transcends duality into the wholeness of all there is. And as this wholeness of all there is, is really transcended into your unique vantage point, then you're walking on this earth with an extraordinary uh, capacity to be in a state of freedom that is unflappable, that is uh, really, really solid. Shinya hayo koya shiwa tinea haniya koya shiwa tinea haniya koya shinya haniya koshiwa koya shi tinea haya koya shiwa tia koya shiwa tinea haniya koya shiwa koya shi. Are you willing? Are you choosing? Te antia your old ways of being. Koyo tiwa koya shiwa tinia hania koya shiwa koya shi tinia hania koya shi koya shi koya nia hania koya shiwa koya shi tinia hania koya shiwa koya shiwa koya shi tia koya koya shi tinia hania koya shiwa koya shi tinia hania koya shi koya shi koya shi koya shi now let's return to this awareness of your castle that represents you being you full out. And that part of your castle of you being you full out is accessing chambers that you've shut off from. And some of these chambers are holding energy and patterns that you've been trying to deny or get rid of. And what we want to say, just as we're saying that your old ways have value, they have importance, is that it's not about getting rid of anything. It's not about getting rid of the old patterns. It's actually about including them back in the wholeness, including them back into the oneness, welcoming them from a place of separation, from a place of being manifested in a place of separation back into the whole. So what is it that you really are, that you are afraid of being? What is it that you've been, when we say be you full out, you may naturally think of, of that which you would think of as yourself in more of an idealistic way. And yet being you full out also includes your idiosyncrasies, it includes your power, it includes your potency, and some of that is also in ways that you may have thwarted in the past. And so what are, what is it that you're afraid to be that you actually are? Maybe it is your power, maybe it is your potency, maybe it is the divine that you know that you're source energy, and yet to be acknowledging and operating from source energy brings up all of those tribal consciousness red flags as to why you shouldn't be doing that. So just take a moment to really tune into what is it that you are that really scares you, that you have been holding back on. Shinya haniya koya shiwa koya shi tiwa koya shi tiniya haniya koya shiwa koya shi tiniya haniya koya shiwa koya shi tiniya haniya koya shiwa koya shi tiniya haniya koya koya shiwa koya shi tiwa koya shi koya shi tiniya haniya koya shiwa koya shi tiniya haniya koya shiwa koya shi tiniya haniya koya shiwa tiniya haya koya shi koya shi tiniya haya koya shiwa koya shi tiniya haniya koya shiwa koya shi 
Tania Hania Koyashiwa Koyashi, Tania Hania Koyashiwa Koyashi, Tiwa Koyashiwa Koyashi, Tiwa Koyashi, Tania Hania Koyashi. Now this is infinite oneness that's moving more to the forefront of this divine activation. And we are headed now to the initiation of accessing your capacity to choose to be you full out anchored in unity consciousness. So imagine once again that you're in this castle and that this castle is actually holding your capacity to choose in one of the rooms, in one of the chambers, in one of the secret passageways, and now begin to stalk down, to hunt, to go after your capacity to choose to be you full out. Imagine it, be it, know it. Start looking, ask yourself, where is my capacity to choose to be me full out anchored in unity consciousness? And then begin going for it. Shiva, Tinia, Hania, Koya, Shiva, Tiwa, Hoya, Shiva, Tiwa, Koya, Shiva, Tiwa, Koya, Shi, Tinia, Hania, Koya, Shi, Woya, Koya, Shi, Tinia, Hania, Koya, Shi, Tinia, Hania, Koya, Shi. And as you are locating your capacity to choose to be you full out anchored in unity consciousness, you may come to a threshold in which you're actually finding when you chose not to be you full out. When you chose to give up your choice to be you full out. Because there is only agreement in this universe. And so you are choosing to not be you full out. Nobody is making you not be you full out. That is a choice that you are making, even though it may have been from a conglomeration of that which actually hasn't been conscious to you. And yet, moment to moment, you're choosing to not be you full out. You're choosing to separate from yourself. You're choosing to act like you're not the most empowered, beautiful, magnificent, brilliant creator being that you are. And so that choice may have been made, and again, we'll get this to this in video too, it may have been made by an experience in a past life in which you interpreted you being you full out as having negative consequences for those that you love or for yourself. So that could have looked like if you were visionary, that you shared a vision, and then the way that people interpreted that vision ended up in them losing their lives. Or if you were one that was sharing spiritual wisdom, that as you were sharing spiritual wisdom, you were persecuted, or you were killed, or you were kicked out of the tribe, or you had the sense of disappearing, being all alone, losing love, and so then you made a choice to not have that much power again. You made a choice to shut down your awareness. You made a choice to not be the multidimensional being that so as you're finding, as you're locating your choice to access your capacity to choose to be you full out anchored in unity consciousness, you may find some of these overlays. And again, we'll get to those in video too. And yet, as you come upon a choice that you made to not access your choice, let's address that now. So anywhere that you've chosen to not be you, to not have the choice that is your divine birthright, would you include that back in the wholeness, back in the oneness, back into the source from which it came? And anywhere that you've given up your capacity to choose, when you anywhere that you've given away your power to somebody else to choose for you, to know what's better for you in your life than you, would you now welcome that back into the wholeness? Call it back in the wholeness. Any contracts, agreements uh, that you've made throughout all time and space that are inhibiting this capacity to access your capacity to choose, would you choose to nullify them at this time? And the Council of Light is transmitting the rainbow ray to help just dissolve any of these energy patterns that you can, so you can access your capacity to choose. Good. So now tuning into your sacrum, 
knowing that we're working on multiple levels at once, the sacrum at the base of the spine, and really just allowing an awareness of a lightning in the sacrum, that this area is where you give yourself permission to experience joy in your life, to experience using your energy for you, to experience pleasure. And it also is one of the places that you may dance, around allowing yourself to be resourced or allow yourself to be separate from resources. Shinya haniya koyoshi, tiniya haniya koshi wa koyoshi, chiwa koyoshi, tiniya haniya koshi, chiwa koyoshi, tiniya haniya koshi wa, chiniya haniya koshi wa koyoshi, koyoshi niya haniya koshi wa koyoshi, chiwa koyoshi niya haniya koshi wa koyoshi. And imagine just a golden energy that is available to support your sacrum because this is an area in which you allow yourself to be supported and being you full out is being you full out supported so that golden energy is going there and now just turn into tune into the base of your brain the base of your of your skull and focus on a beautiful turquoise energy just basking the lower half of your brain, the lower half of your brain. And as it's basking the lower half of your brain, knowing that it is absorbing anything that's not uniquely you or yours, and any choice that you made to not access your choice to be you full out. Feeling an unraveling and unwinding. Beautiful. And then as you're ready to just allow yourself to look right here and to receive this direct transmission from Toth through the eyes to activate, if you choose, your capacity to choose to be you full out. So this is the last phase of this initiation. Beautiful. And then just closing your eyes, taking some deep breaths. Allowing yourself to integrate that which has been transmitted with ease and grace for all of us of your system. As we're completing, just taking the time that you would like to be in these energies. And until video two, just really being aware, moment to moment, are you choosing to be you? Or are you choosing to be separate from you? So thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you at video two. All is well, and you are all.